This week on the Summer of STEM, we create transforming ninja stars in spirilateral math art. Be sure to check out this week's book in the description below. You will need markers, color pencils, origami paper, graph paper, scrap paper, a roller, and various pens. Transforming Geometric Ninja Stars. Fold the paper in half, unfold, then fold it the opposite way. This is in order to create a fold line that you can later follow. Fold the left corner of the fold up to meet the open side. This is what it should look like when you open it up. Fold the top two corners down so that the triangles meet at the point made by the previous folds. Fold this in half. Partially open it up and flip the bottom triangle in. This should form a parallelogram. This might be tricky at first, but you'll get the hang of it after a couple tries. My biggest tip is to hold the center point down while you flip the triangle. You will need to make eight parallelograms per ninja star. Once you have created all eight parallelograms, slot the parallelograms into each other as shown. Parallelograms should slot into other parallelograms inverted triangle sides. The corners can then be folded down in order to hold the pieces together. For the last parallelogram, tuck the end of it into the first piece. Make sure that the ends sandwich the first parallelogram. If you're not sure what I mean, just make sure that both sides of the ninja star look the same. Ensure that the folds are neat by running a ruler over the fully assembled star. The star is complete. You can transform the star by pulling on the center shapes. This will expand it to create an octagon. If you push on these outside octagon pieces, you'll be able to form the ninja star again. This project is a perfect way to learn about different shapes, like parallelograms and octagons. Experiment with different fun colors and patterns for your ninja star. I'm making a rainbow ninja star. Spirilateral math art. Start by writing out the timetables that you want to use. In my case, I wrote out the one timetable and the two timetable. If you don't want to write out your own, I've created this sheet, which you can find in the description below. The key to spirilaterals is the number pattern that you use. Figuring this out may seem complicated at first, but following these steps, you'll be able to do it quite simply. The first step is to write out the numbers in the times table. For example, the two times table consists of two, four, six, eight, and so on. The second step is to take the two digit numbers and add the digits together to create a one digit number. For example, the number 18 will become 1 plus 8, so 9. If the sum of the digits of the number is greater than 9, add the digits of the sum. This is to ensure that you are only using single digit numbers when creating your spirilateral. The third step is just to continue writing and adding until you see the numbers begin to repeat. For example, in the three times tables, the numbers go 369, 369, 369. The pattern in this case is only the numbers 3, 6, and 9, so you will repeat these as you draw your spirilateral. Follow the numbers to draw a pattern. Watch as I draw the 1 times table. First I draw a line with a length of 1, then 2, then 3, and so on, going in a clockwise motion around. When I get to the end of my pattern, I simply start off from the beginning again, but ensuring that I'm going in the same direction as the clockwise motion. This will ensure that the end point and the beginning point match up. This process is repeated with all times tables. Explore the different patterns you can make using different numbers. Finally, you can color your designs in and explore the patterns in a different way. Check out the designs I made. I hope you all enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next Summer of STEM video. Subscribe for another video.